So after my friend's conversation around boner acne and our kind of miscommunication on what he thought boner acne was and my assumption on what he actually meant regarding pimples on your penis or lumps and bumps on your penis and how in some cases they are completely normal and quite common. I thought it was worthwhile to do a video uh, looking at some of the common lumps and bumps that occur and these ones don't generally require treatment. I'll also do a different video on the lumps and bumps that you do need to look out for. Having said that, any lump and bump that you find in that area is worthwhile getting checked by a healthcare professional. Some lumps and bumps, some of these common lumps and bumps I'm going to talk about, can resemble some that occur with the early stages of an SDI infection. So it is always worthwhile getting them checked by a healthcare professional, especially if you're sexually active. So the first one is known as like a four dice spot. And these are actually probably more noticeable when the skin is stretched. So when you have an erection or if the skin on your scrotum is relaxed. They're really quite common. Mostly four out of five people have them and you can get them on your penis, your scrotum, even around your lips and your mouth. They are basically a sebaceous gland, so a normal part of the anatomy. They're about one to five millimeters in size, pale, and they actually become more noticeable after puberty because the gland actually enlarges as a result. The next is known as the three Ps, so like pearly penile papules. You'll predominantly see these around just under the glands of the penis. Um, they obviously get their name because they look pearly or white, and they usually run in like a single ring or multiple rings around the corona of the penis. Again, they are completely normal. They do get mistaken sometimes for genital warts, so it is also worthwhile if you notice them for the first time getting a check from your doctor, especially if you are sexually active. But basically, there are no issues with these ones. It's purely an aesthetic thing for some people. Tyson glands are another sebaceous gland, but you'll probably notice these ones generally sit around the frenulum, so that connective tissue on the underside of the penis. Angiokeratomas are sort of like a purple, red, black sort of lump or bump that can occur, usually in older age, and this is because of the elasticity of the capillaries starts to decrease. And when these capillaries break, that skin surface starts to thicken. Again, there are no issues with these. However, some people do get some bleeding or some itching occurring, so you can certainly look at treatment options with the doctor. Like I normally do, I've got a blog post with pictures and further information up on my website.